Honda is investing heavily in three futuristic areas, rockets, robots, and electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, EVTOL, also known as flying cars. The Tokyo-based company is working on a new electric hybrid air taxi, a robot with human-like hands that might one day work on the moon, and a reusable rocket to transport small satellites into space at a reduced cost. Honda's vision for how people will work, travel, and spend their spare time in the future will help it expand its business beyond cars, lawnmowers, and motorcycles. The initiatives are an important part of Honda's 2030 vision, which aims to broaden the definition of mobility and improve people's lives. Over the next six years, the automaker will invest $45 billion in research and development. Honda won't say how much of that money will go towards developing rockets, robots, or flying cars, or even if it plans to pursue those projects as commercial ventures. In fact, Honda sees robots, rockets, and electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft as extensions to its core business of producing automobiles. It'll be worth the expense if the company can use it to develop a better electric vehicle platform. Simply put, Honda wants to see if it can create working prototypes before taking the big step. Honda says it's looking into EVTOL aircraft that could be used as part of a city taxi service. However, Honda says it will pursue a hybrid solution as a means to realize the range desired by our customers, unlike most startups that are building lightweight, multi-prop vehicles that run on lithium-ion batteries. According to Honda, pure battery electric aircraft will have a maximum range of several tens of kilometers. Honda claims that combining gas turbines with an electric motor, it will be able to achieve a range of up to 250 miles making trips between Boston and New York City more commercially viable. The company is yet to decide whether to pursue a commercial air taxi service before 2025, with the goal of gaining regulatory approval and launching a new service by 2030. Honda isn't the only automaker interested in EVTOL technology. Others, such as Toyota and General Motors, have also put money into prototypes and concepts. The robotics division's goal is to create multi-fingered hands that can pick up and hold specific objects. Honda is working on a remote operation system that allows a human wearing a VR visor and a connected glove to control the robotic hand. Honda was a forerunner in the field of robotics, developing Asimo, one of the first two-legged robots. In 2018, the automaker stopped producing Asimo in order to focus on using the technology in more practical applications, such as nursing and road transportation. White-collar workers could use Honda's avatar robots, which have digital screens in place of faces, to attend meetings and interact with physical objects remotely. According to the company, this will allow people to live wherever they want without being bound by workplace obligations. Finally, Honda hopes to apply its propulsion, guidance, and control technologies to a reusable rocket project. The automaker, which also has a small plane business, is a relative newcomer to the space industry, which is currently dominated by established defense contractors like Boeing and well-funded companies like Elon Musk's SpaceX and Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin. The company's seven or eight passenger Honda jet has received little traction and accounts for only a small portion of its revenue. Honda has also struggled to keep up with its latest technology in its core automotive business, partnering with GM to develop electric vehicles that use GM's next-generation battery pack technology. Honda claims that all three areas of the expansive research and development roadmap, including propulsion, electrification, robotics, artificial intelligence, and renewable energy, overlapped with this expertise. Air Taxis According to Honda's research, current flying shuttle designs that rely entirely on battery power will have insufficient range to meet market demand for travel of up to 250 miles or 402 kilometers, and not just between large congested cities. In 2023, the company plans to start flight tests on a hybrid design that combines a lithium battery with a gas turbine generator to serve as a charger and extend the range of the aircraft. Honda hopes to have its craft certified by 2030 if management decides to proceed with development. Honda forecasts a market worth $269 billion annually in the 2040s when electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL craft progress to a fully autonomous stage without a pilot on board. This would include logistics and emergency medical transport. According to Fromer, this market will need to work within a larger ecosystem of EVTOL ports, ground-based autonomous vehicles, and computers that can seamlessly adjust passenger schedules and flight plans to transport people. Avatar Robots Honda Robotics will continue to improve its Asimo humanoid robot in order to shrink its size and expand its capabilities. Honda expects Avatar Robots to be used primarily as a remote surrogate to perform tasks, such as a paramedic controlling the robot to attend to an injured person in 4D, transcending time and space. School children occupy a fleet of robotic rover avatars on the moon's surface in another scenario from the company, touring craters and other geographic features. To help provide more delicate and forceful grasping, these human-controlled avatars will require sophisticated, multi-fingered hands powered by artificial intelligence. According to Honda, technology demonstrations for the avatar robot will begin in March 2024, with practical use expected in the 2030s. Space Given the success of SpaceX's Falcon 9, 
Honda began work in late 2019 on the engineering requirements for a reusable rocket, the industry's new paradigm. Another development that has energized the commercial space economy is Honda's plan to develop a rocket to launch small satellites into low Earth orbit. As a result, more connected machines, everything from cars to appliances to utilities, could emerge, opening up new service and revenue opportunities. Honda sees commercial potential in assisting lunar explorers in unlocking the potential of frozen water on the moon. The company is collaborating with Japan's Aerospace Exploration Agency, JAXA, to develop a lunar renewable energy system. Honda's fuel cell technology would break down water into its hydrogen and oxygen components, generating electricity. According to Honda, the oxygen could also be used in living quarters and to provide hydrogen for rocket fueling. Honda isn't the only Japanese automaker dreaming of a moon base. Toyota Motor Corporation and the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency are developing a six-wheel driverless lunar rover that will land in 2029. On the moon, Honda sees robots playing a role in minimizing the risks astronauts will be exposed to and allowing people to virtually enjoy the experience of being on the moon from Earth. It remains to be seen how successful any of these research projects will be. The auto industry is undergoing a major transformation, with most major manufacturers pledging to phase out gas-powered vehicles in favor of electric vehicles. Honda has made a commitment to stop selling internal combustion engines by 2040. This will be a very expensive project, and a risky one because consumers in the United States have been slow to adopt electrification compared to other countries. Renewable Energy on the Moon Honda plans to build the circulative renewable energy system on the lunar surface. By leveraging fuel cell technologies and high differential pressure water electrolysis technologies, Honda has amassed to date. In collaboration with the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, JAXA, this renewable energy system is designed to provide resources to humans and rovers on the moon allowing them to stay longer. Another outlandish concept is the deployment of remote control robots on the lunar surface. These robots will be able to roam on the surface of the moon using the same functionality as Avatar robots, potentially reducing the risk to astronauts exploring space. As mentioned previously, Honda has plans for rockets as well, but nothing as ambitious as SpaceX's. Its first goal is to develop small rockets to aid in the launch of low Earth orbit satellites. However, the company believes that these rockets will grow large enough for space travel in the future. That's a lot coming from a car manufacturer, and it's also very futuristic. We expect to see the results of these ambitions in a few years. The company also stated that it will concentrate its efforts in these areas, but only as an extension of its core business.